Hi everyone, we're back at the CNC for another weekend. Uh, this weekend, going to try and get a fixture made up for my next project. Um, so follow along and um, I'll let you know how it goes. I've set up currently all the tools ready to go and I've noticed a little bit of a problem related to uh, just running a small CNC machine. So I'll run you through that and then hopefully um, I'll be able to get it sorted and I'll be able to machine out this fixture. So I've set up the machine ready with all the tools in place. But the problem I have, and this is one of the reasons why I like to work on fixtures, is that <clears throat> when I'm running longer tools like these drills, I run into problems doing a tool change. So at the moment, the machine set up where the tool is at the height at which a tool change is performed. So you can see that if that was going to occur while the workpiece was underneath it, I'd get a crash of the machine. So um, what this means is that I'm going to have to separate out my parts, um, my operations in the uh, creation of this uh, fixture plate, um, just so that I can have this one run separately. But in some ways it was a little bit advantageous because I, um, I realized I want to, I, there's a few holes that I need to bore and um, thread and things like that to locate the pins. Um, so actually what it means is that I can um, uh, do this operation, do the facing operation and then do the bore operation and work that bore hole up until it's a nice tight fit for the pins. So um, it was kind of lucky that uh, I realized that this was going to be a problem because it, it made me think um, about what I needed to do to actually machine this uh, fixture in place. So um, now that I've got the tool set up, I've separated out my program, I'll actually take the workpiece off and simulate all the, op uh, simulate all the operations um, above the workpiece um, without it in place and uh, just make sure there's no issues and then um, I'll do another dry run with the workpiece in place but offset um, the tools uh, above uh, where the uh, operations are going to occur and then finally if I'm happy with everything I'll um, uh, do the actual machining operations so a lot of work ahead of me this afternoon, but it should be, should be fun. So I'll give you an example of running uh, a program dry through the air. Um, I've got set up the drill at the moment, and um, what I'm going to do is just drill four holes um, for the pins for the fixture. But I've got the, uh, the material, the stock out and the vise out, just so um, I can see that it's going to be lined up. So um, I run it with 30% uh, feed rate and um, I'll just show you what that looks like. I also run it with a single block on so it will just do one block at a time and I'll have to manually let it go to the next step um, just to make sure that it's uh, not doing anything silly. I'll turn the coolant off just so that I can see what's happening. So it's just completed the first hole. and the second hole
So what I was looking at there when I was running it was that each hole lined up with where these four holes, where the four holes in the fixture pad is going to um, be lined up as well. And um, that the depth is looking good. Nothing uh, is looking out of the ordinary. Um, and then I'll actually run it again at 100% feed rate now that I'm happy with it, uh, just to make sure that the feed looks good um, when it's going to be running in the material. Okay, so I've machined the bores for the pins to go into, but they're a little bit undersized at the moment, won't quite fit. So I've gone back to Fusion and adjusted the stock to leave and um, I'll run it again and see if we can just work our way up to fitting these into place. Well, it's amazing the difference two hundredths of a millimeter makes. So now straight in, it's really nice fit. Well, that's all the milling operations done. I've drilled the holes. I've faced off the bottom. I've counterbored for the uh, pins and I've threaded the uh, threads for the pins to go into and um, now I'll uh, clear off all the coolant and um, then it will be the moment of truth to see if uh, it uh, fits in the fixture for the uh, lang plate that's on there. Fingers crossed team. <laughs> okay I've machined the fixture plate I've installed the studs on the bottom now's the moment of truth to see if it will fit. Looking good.